Hello and welcome to Adra and today I'm going to be exploring a few places in the city. This here is the artisan's main place. You can find many guys and children making rings, different daggers, swords and other interesting items. <laughs> Really a local vibe around here. We're heading to a market just now. As you can see, it's late, it's six-ish, and the sun is about to set, it's getting dark, it's much cooler. Wow, how colorful is this? Look at all these potatoes. Ah, he's, he's very friendly. My name is Mumin. Potatoes. Potatoes. Yes. It car uh, 14. 14. Magnifique. Ma 14 magnifique. Khadi jirbawi model ya. Badata ra ma wal ya haushi ra da ra ghe badata. Sawar li yqulu ma khadi jirbawi sbabi. Okay. Bye bye. Wahaini ya qla qalbi ya qla bi silah silah ya. People are a bit sensitive about filming here in Algeria as I've mentioned before in a few videos and we were trying to keep a really low key filming this one around the market and uh, I still am now and straight away the guy from the potato truck drawing attention to the whole street Wow Look at all these beautiful Traditional clothes. And the women's clothes. Salam alaikum. Wow, all these colors. You can even see the prices. I highly recommend that you buy some traditional clothes as a souvenir in Algeria. As you can see, I'm actually wearing traditional clothes. <laughs> It was a gift from Nadir's brother in Algiers and I didn't really wear it. I don't normally wear purple, but uh, why not, right? When you have the opportunity and someone gives you something, it's kind of like wearing a dress because I don't have any uh, trousers on underneath. It's just uh, my boxes and this. <laughs> People selling fruits and veg by the kilogram. I'm being really subtle trying not to show while I'm filming. Really interesting scene to observe. Fresh fruit and veg of course. We were just chatting with the owner of this uh, gift shop here called uh, Takrom just by the main square. Come and check it out if you're here in Adra because there are lots of beautiful things handmade in here. The owner, he's very friendly, speaks good English, smart guy. So come and give him some love and perhaps buy something from here because there's loads of stuff to choose from. These candle holders are actually handmade in Tamantet where we were yesterday in that village, the old city. Some local drums that we used last night as well in the desert. I'm now here in the main square of the city of Adra. There are a lot of people sitting down, doesn't look like it because the shot is so wide. It's a place in the evening where people come to relax and many events do take place here, cultural things. Street food store just here in the square called Mahajub. Onion and tomato inside. Looks really, really good. Mahajub. <laughs> 
You can literally just grab one of the rugs and sit down where you like and order street food from one of the vendors and we've gone with the mahajab over here so it's now been cooked and let's try some of it it's crispy crunchy spicy on the inside and it's around 40 dinar for one so it's pretty good value Good morning from Adra. You can hear the call to prayer in the background. At the moment it is 5.40 a.m. and we're about to head into the desert for the sunrise and have some breakfast to finish off this video. So it should be a good experience. I'm flying back to Algiers later today at 1 p.m. from Adra and then with my old host from Algiers, Nadir, we're gonna drive down to Gardea. But that's coming in the future videos, but just gonna finish this one off now with another trip to the desert, as we had so much fun the other night near Tamantet, the village. So after driving from Adra, we are now here. You can see the sun is coming up from the horizon in that direction over there, using my iPhone light once again. You can see here behind or maybe you can't. We have a little uh, rug down there and uh, Ilias here is making a fire right now. trip around the Sahara region of Algeria, Timimun, Adra, Tamante, and now here outside a place called Buda, which is in that direction. You can see the road here actually, but we're not too far away from. And there are so many places to visit in this region and much that I haven't seen, but I hope you got a good taste of it over the course of these few videos. If you come here yourself, just go wild, go free and explore because there are so many places to see. One place in particular I really want to visit and I will come back to next time is Janet and Tamanrasa, which the locals refer to as Tamaras, I believe. That place looks absolutely spectacular and out of this world and it's something that uh, I wish I could have had time for, but there's a couple other places that I want to include before my visa expires, like Gardea. So having to prioritize my traveling in these precious last few days. Thank you very much to <laughs> Rostom for helping me out. Yeah, you are welcome. He has a YouTube channel himself and is making a few videos here in Algeria and lives uh, close by here in Adra. Um, what's your YouTube channel? It's uh, Rostom Jilmami. Okay, Rostom yeah. Jilmami. His editing is pretty good and his videos oh, are you. in uh, Arabic as well. If those of you watching speak Arabic, find interesting. He also speaks English. So yeah, um, check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the video's description. Thank you. And Elias here, the fire king, who made the <laughs> fire for us a few nights ago and doing the same this morning. Got tea poured by an expert, soup with typical Algerian bread. What's the name of the soup? S Chef. S Chef. Time lapse going and the sun appearing before us on the horizon.
gonna miss the Sahara region. I definitely want to come back like I mentioned. If you have any questions for me about traveling in the Algerian Sahara then DM me on Instagram or pop a comment. The next video will be from Gardea so stay tuned. See you there. Peace. Thank you.